crap. Hello, Jesus. Today we are gonna unbox and review the washer color confections. I first saw these on YouTube being given away uh, by one quite popular illustrator. So first of all, I think that the name is totally spot on. You can see they are these tiny palettes. Uh, so it's kind of like a little box of chocolates or you know, sweet candies. I got these from Simon for my birthday. Uh, I got four different palettes. And I think that in total you can get five, maybe six. I think I know of five different palettes that you can get right now on in the internet. Uh, they are a lot easier to get in the United States, but uh, he ordered them from America, I think through eBay. They themselves cost $26 each, which is okay because uh, they come in a really cute pan and I'm gonna show you that very soon. Uh, and also the pan itself is reusable and uh, it just seemed like a pretty good deal. The problem obviously is in the shipping costs and also because um, he ordered four at once he ended up also having to pay some taxes on top of it because um, it was basically like hundred dollars and I'm pretty sure that when you're ordering anything into Britain if it surpasses about 50, either 50 dollars or 50 pounds worth you will have to pay some extras on top of all the shipping and the actual price and all that which sucks these are made and distributed by a company called Prima Marketing and I looked at their website and their brand seems to be very kind of like a, like a female crafter oriented they do say on the box that they are artist quality but you know, like don't don't trust them too hard. They're actually made in uh, South Korea, which is kind of cute too. It kind of makes me feel like these two watercolors are the same thing Korean beauty products are to, you know, makeup. It's just this like kind of cute novelty. Uh, you know, it's kind of a little treat to buy yourself. Like it's still really practical. You can still use it. It's you know, definitely not a waste of money, but at the same time, like it's a, yeah, it, it, it's a treat. Okay, let's unbox these. Alrighty, so the first thing I can tell you, uh, these are a lot easier to unpack than the Windsor and Newton Kaufman watercolors I made a video about some time ago. Um, when I was unpacking those, like, yeah, it was so much pain. These are really easy, uh, really fast. So at first I was really terrified that this would take me forever, but no, it was really fast. Uh, you can see that uh, the boxes, the sort of palettes themselves are made of metal. They're really cute. They have a, they just feel like a really good quality little palette. Also, you can see that the pans themselves are kind of lodged into these like tiny holders, like these little like tracks which I find really practical because it means that, you know, like if you turn it upside down, they won't just fall off, fall out. Um, at the same time, it's fairly easy to get them out when you need to and also it means that you can totally Take some of the colors that you don't like or you don't use out and put different ones in so either you can combine colors from the individual uh, confections palettes but also I tried and you can definitely fit the Cotman watercolors in the pastel dreams uh, is kind of like it comes with two browns, so it makes me think it's great for painting little cakes or cupcakes because all the other colors are um, quite nice, not not really light pastel ones, they're quite like a saturated pastel, so I would say it's more of like a half pastel. My favorite one of them is probably the lemonade because it's kind of like a really like a warm yellowish pink. When we move on to shimmering lights, you'll notice that you have a bunch of metallics 
out of which basically none is like a like a cold color one they are all warm metallics coming from the sort of like so one is kind of almost like a gunmetal one you know i think that some of them are actually quite special quite unusual there's one that's like a really rich copper and then there's like a darker version of the of the copper the first one i've ever seen out of all of these palettes was the tropicals one and it kind of spoke to me because it's a palette of colors which i feel like i want to use but i never really make myself use them i like that most of them are quite quite dark and rich and they truly are that sort of like jungle colors and you know that that whole like jungly aesthetic is pretty in right now so i imagine it would be great for you know painting tropical flowers and um, tropical leaves things like that Okay, that was my speed paint of The Last Mermaids of 2017's hashtag mermaid. I only made a couple of mermaids for mermaid, but uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen them already. Uh, anywho, uh, what I noticed is that especially when you want to paint people or like, you know, I guess in this case, like humanoids or something, um, 
these are not really like very skin tone ready uh, it would be nice to have like a specific palette for drawing just people decadent pies has kind of like a couple of skin tones here on top you have to mix them anyway like you yeah you they already need to be mixed so that's not ideal but like it's the norm right like if you have a watercolor palette but then i feel like the the rest of the colors in decadent pies not really super useful for people maybe for like anime people because it's basically just like super dark sort of not really like hair colors or anything the color palettes like the color schemes are really inspiring and interesting and you know they might get you out of your usual rut when it comes to which color you use and that's also what i'm hoping these will do for me i'm definitely gonna try and use these kind of in the field as well like i'm gonna try and take these out to like a cafe or something i think that they are just ideal for it because they even i'm not sure if i didn't show you before but they have like this this thumb ring so like you can even you can carry them on your hand like so which i think is very cute uh i'm not sure if it's gonna work for me as i am left-handed but we'll see anywho overall i think that the watercolor confections are a great gift for someone or a great treat for yourself um i think that if you don't have just like money to spare they're probably not the best thing to get especially if you need to get them shipped from america you know think of them as like a piece of jewelry or something you know they're really fun they're really pretty and like if you take them out people will think they're super cute plus like in long term this metal thing is amazing so like when you when you run out of, of the, the original color palette you can just make your own one which is super cool so i hope that made sense i hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you decide whether you super need these or not and i will see you soon probably with a video about cool stationery shops in london okay 